All right, guys, I'm back. My audio is a little different because my battery is almost dead. And so I have it on my charger. So this is natural light too, I decided since Whatever, let's just get into this. So I have my order from Rose Girls. I placed this on the 31st. Um, I've had this sitting here a few days. I have smelled it because I couldn't resist. This was on the top. And then she did have a bunch of packing peanuts, which um, these white ones are biodegradable. So most of them I grabbed and put into the sink and got rid of them. So... <laughs> I, you guys know that she restocks circus concessions, so there was no way I was going to miss out on this. So I did order nine, I believe, in this alone. So I went in twice because I wasn't going to miss this. This has been, I don't even know when the last time she poured this. I was, the last time was when she did a, a mini, or a mini muffins and I got, I don't even know how many then, and I only have, I think, two left, and I've been hoarding them because that's all I had. So when this came up, in this one bag, I don't know why, but it's actually split. Um, I noticed it in the box, and it was on the outer edge. I hope none of them else are. I don't, I, I have some smaller size bags, um, but this is, my favorite scent ever. So I have shared this multiple times with you guys that this is my favorite. So don't come for me if you didn't get it because you're lucky I didn't order more. I thought nine was reasonable. I thought that'll get me through for a year if she doesn't report again. I just, I love this scent. It's, it's just amazing. So I believe I got nine. Two. Four, six, eight, nine. I, I honestly, I would have done, I would have loved to seen like, I mean, I guess this is kind of because it's caramel, um, caramel corn or car caramel apple kettle corn. I can't remember what else is in this. She has a bunch in it. I would have, I would have loved to seen like a very bright, bright colors, but I get the colors make sense too. Um, I guess that's not what I think of when I think of a circus, but that's just me. <laughs> okay. And then in the other order, um, let me just say that I know there's a lot of negativity going around and I, I just choose, I'm thankful that I'm not in some of these wax chats. I don't want to be included in them or in the group. I mean, I just choose to live my life. I have enough in my life to, that's stressful enough. I'm sorry if you are one of those people that they are attacking because I just personally feel like what I choose to spend my money on is my damn business and it's not yours. And maybe that's not nice. And, but I'm just so tired of everyone always being a bully. Like if you don't agree with them, then you attack them. Like wh why, why is that? Why, why can't you just mind your business? Like nobody goes around to people and judges what they buy or where they go or what they spend their money on clothes or you don't know what people's lives are like. You see what someone shares in a video because, and then you just assume like, you know all about them. And I just think that's such a misconception. I don't look at people's videos and be like, do you really need that? Uh, I don't, I don't care what people buy. Like, as long as they're not hurting them, themselves, like, what does it matter what people spend their money on? I just choose, like, if we can't be kind or say something kind, then maybe we should reevaluate ourselves because why do you want to put so much hate out into the world? I just... I ordered nine of these. It brings me joy. And if I'm doing something that's healthier than anything my mother would have done, I'm okay with that. And I don't care what people think, I guess. That's my statement on the whole bullying and people thinking they have a right to tell you what you should spend your money on. It's your money. You work for it. You are blessing that business owner's life by you making that purchase. So I don't get what the problem is, okay? And let's talk about what else I ordered because clearly I order what brings me joy. I ordered five of Fire Mario. I thought I was being good. Like I should have ordered 10. <laughs> 
this is the one I said on Instagram that I wasn't sharing what I was going to order because I was so afraid of this selling out and it did rather quickly. And I, this is a stunner of a scent. I wish she wouldn't have put it in her Mario part because then I'm thinking, is she not going to bring this back? Now I've requested already, please bring the Circus Concession and this one back again, especially this one. This is Marshmallow Fireside Donut Holes Espresso Beans. This... Okay, so now you guys, the last order. Okay, this one's ripped too. You guys mentioned I watched several hauls because I didn't order from the last sale, the restock I think she did. So what, so are these, these must be thinner bags. So I'm gonna go and inspect all these because now that's two ripped bags in this so far. Interesting, yeah, like, I mean, in my package, no, to be fair, look at my box. But this was not, this was, well, this was on the second row next to this. And it's got a hole right here. So, to be fair, it was probably not taken care of when it was packaged, or not packaged, but in, during transport. And you know what, I'm not criticizing anybody because what the post office is, they're dealing with shortages as well. So I'm not criticizing anyone. I'm just saying it might just be that these are maybe, a, these are very thin bags. So just a little pressure. I live in the cold and when things get thrown, it's easily something that can break. So it's, I'm not blaming anybody. I just feel like these are small, thinner bags in general. So they're going to, especially when it has been like below zero all week. Um, this is truly this amazing, I love Marshmallow Fireside. And then you get this amazingness from the espresso bean. I love her espresso bean scent, whatever this is. I think this is new for her. I really, really hope she brings this back so you guys can grab some. I, when you see my melting basket, you'll see I did warm this this week, even though it was the blue theme, because this is just something I would literally warm every week, like circus concession, like this is so good. So, all right. And then another repurchase for me was Grandma Got Run Over by Chain Chomp. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies Cotton Candy Frosting Waffle Cone. I had this from last year, and I've been working through my stuff from February of last year. And I warmed, I think I almost finished a bag in this. This is a beautiful blend. I really like Waffle Cone Cotton Candy, and um, her Blackberry Jam is more of a blackberry to me, I guess. But this is a really, really, really great scent as well. That was a repurchase. Another repurchase. This is Starbeans Cafe. Now I didn't repurchase the ones that I bought in the big like half pies, but this one I had one bag of in my last Mario order you guys saw, and this is Espresso Vanilla Crunch Donuts Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a beautiful coffee blend. I'm not a big coffee person, but I would tell you this is really done well with the donut and the espresso. It's more on a bakery side and it's so i'm sorry i'm messing with my hair oh it's make it's i just took a shower i blew dry it i put some product in but not a lot so the first day i do my hair it's so clean that it just like doesn't sit where i set it <laughs> okay so anyway sorry so this is just done well i love this this isn't heavy heavy bakery this is just done very very well so I have one other bag of that, and then I did repurchase that. I have had that before as well. Okay, so uh, here's another ripped bag. Oh my, these have got to be thinner. Like, this is like nothing. So this is completely ripped. I am going to email her just because um, that's, I'm not the only video that I've seen that they have, people have gotten ripped bags. So Maybe she needs to reach out to whoever she ordered from just so she's aware. Because this is really, like, I have some bags, but they're not this size. So now I'm going to have to, that's going to take me off because then I want the whole label. Like, so that, it does buy me. <laughs> it does bother me if I can talk. Okay, this is Shadow Queen. I've not purchased this before. Lord of Mistral Marshmallow Fireside Tobacco Vanilla Bourbon. People are raving about this. It's not, I love Lord of Mistral as far as, like, a bath bomb from Lush. I've been a Lushy for like 15 years. I love Lush. I love bath bombs. I 
they give me the most moisturizing bath ever and I do them I add melts to it and then sometimes the bubble bar all I get in this right now is Lord of Mistral I don't really get any of the other notes so I will warm this but people were raving about this so I thought I'm gonna try this because I really do like bath and or lush scents but now I need to rebag that now look at this one. Okay, this one is new to me. Have yourself a Merry Mario. Peppermint mocha cookies and dunk my donuts because I found out how I obsessed I was about peppermint mocha scents. Um, this one is good. I definitely get the peppermint mocha. I'll warm this because you definitely get a donut as well in this, but it's not... I would still say that Zape's Red Cup Season is the best I have tried. And next year, I will order that enough for the season. But because I didn't have a ton left, I wanted to try this. I will warm this, and then we'll see what I think. Okay, and the last, oh, not the last one. The last bag I got, I always drop something. Okay, the last bag I got, it wasn't broke before I dropped it, was Metal Mario. Now, this is because Devin, in her channel is Tennessee something on YouTube. She says her husband loves this, and she likes a lot of bakery and then some of these kind of scents. So, I was like, I really like Devin. I have, I've been watching for her for a long time. I love her, just how true she is to who she is. I like people that are real. Um... So she had mentioned this in a video she posted recently and how her husband he was upset that she didn't order this even though she's watching what she spends. So hopefully, Devin, you got some of this. I don't know if she watches my channel. Um, so Metal Mario is stainless steel, seductive, quiet man. This is not generally one that I would go for. I will tell you to me, for some reason, please help me with this. When I warmed this, so I did take a small piece out and I put it in my husband's bathroom in the laundry room. It's still in there. It's going strong in like day three. But when I melt this, it definitely, I get like coastal kale almost. I don't know. Like, or not coastal kale. Um, yeah, it almost, yes. It's like so faint. This is not something you would think I would like, but I really like this. This. I, again, I don't know if maybe it's something in the seductive quiet man blend. Ugh. I went back on her website and it's gone. So I would have ordered, I would have ordered another bag. But you know, here's the thing. The reality is I don't because I have so many scents to warm through that I really don't need an extra one. Next year I'll order a bag. Like I think this will last me all year unless for some reason I go crazy. But I would definitely order this again. And I know that's shocking. That's not something you would hear me generally say, but I really liked that one. Okay, this is a new one. I think Alice's Cheshire Cat. It's Honeydew Cotton Candy Frosting and Zen. I love her Honeydew Cotton Candy Blends, and I love Zen. I would repurchase this. I And look at the shape. Love it. I really love Honeydew and Cotton Candy blended together, and then you add Zen to it. Oh, it's just so good. I love like zen black like i just really do i think rose girls is the only zen i've had so i would repurchase that again and my sample is strawberry jam mulberry baked zucchini bread let me just say it that i like getting these samples but the problem is is that if she never repours it and then you try it and then you like it then what do you do so i don't like this <laughs> Because I don't think I like the mulberry aspect in this. I don't know. This just isn't my favorite. I love that she did the shapes. I um, wish that when she did her Halloween, you know, I'm still bitter about that. <laughs> like, it wasn't really a Halloween sampler to me. Um, it was just a bunch of chunks and a few shapes. But um, I don't know. And then the combos weren't Halloween. But anyway, I digress about that still. Um, but this, I just, I don't like this together at all. And I'll, I'll warm this um, and we'll see how it blends. One, or, you know, once those scents come together on warming, then we'll see. But that's everything I got. Um, like I said, I was so happy that she reports circus concessions and Fire Mario is like, 
I am obsessed with that scent. I just don't even know what else to say about it. Um, so let me know if you ordered my beloved circus concession or did you get Fire Mario or did you miss it? I know a lot of people missed it and I'm really sorry. Um, I hope she reports it because it really, truly, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. And um, now I'll say that. <laughs> But I was, I, I think I said on Instagram, like I was warming through a lot of the stuff that I had ordered in the pre-order that was new to me so I could just really see what I wanted to reorder. And you can see that I was very limited to what I repurchased or trying a few new things. But that was my big last like hurrah because it was the 34, 31st before our low buy and um I'll talk about a lo the end of this month. I'll kind of go over how that low buy is going. And um, I think I will put all of the things I purchased in one video and talk about the low buy. And um, I will say that I have had a lot more. I had to think a lot more on everything I have ordered because there's a limit on the low buy. Although my limit in my brain is not the same. So you'll see. But I was very good on like, okay, don't just order five things. Like, then I can combine hauls because I'm so used to like, well, I want to try the vendor or I want to review it for you or I just want to try, you know, like six cents. Well, but if you don't need them, like pick three that you like and then go from there. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, this week has been a busy week. I was on Instagram yesterday a little bit. Finally, I was a little sassy on there. Um, yeah, sometimes I am sassy. That's my personality. So, um, I just want to say thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing. If you're new, welcome. Um, I enjoy wax and I enjoy this community and I just want to say thank you for everyone being so kind and let's just continue to be an example and um, radiate kindness in a world where there's a lot of darkness. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.